it's Heidi Rain. Welcome back for another episode of Addiction and Codependency Breakthrough. I am so glad that you're here. I love my podcast listeners, uh, but I have to tell you, you are missing out today on, on one little tiny thing, and that is this epic, ridiculous hair that my YouTube wonderful uh, subscribers are going to see because I don't know, this is what a hot roller will get you. Um, don't recommend it but we're going to roll with it. It's kind of like reminiscent of like a seventies or eighties housewife, not real sure. However, it's not about me. I don't come to these videos for me, right? I come for you. So let's leave my hair out of it and get to get down on what we want to talk about today. And it is such an important topic. Uh, it's the topic of self neglect whenever you're dealing with an addict or an alcoholic in your life. And it shows up a couple of different ways. So I'm going to get into that with you today and talk about, ask you some questions, you know, about how well you're taking care of yourself, what you can do if you're not taking care of yourself and what to do when you have guilt for actually taking care of yourself when your loved one is struggling, which I know is one of the main reasons that you don't take care of yourself when you're dealing with a family member who's struggling. So if you're new here, I just want to take a minute and say, welcome home, man, am I glad you found me. I am so grateful that you're here. I'm on a mission to help you. I have dedicated my life to helping people that are impacted by addiction and give you the strategy that you need to survive this, give you the coping mechanisms, give you the insight, the education, and most importantly, the support to come alongside of you and be with you so you're not so alone on this journey, because let's face it, you can feel so alone, especially if you're dealing with this in secret, if nobody else knows what's going on, if you have yourself, what we call a functioning addict or alcoholic, and everybody thinks it's fine, but you, the worst behavior is saved for you. I mean, we can go on and on. So if you're curious about more help and more support, I've created programs just for you. I've created coaching opportunities just for you. And you can go over to HeidiRain.com and check that out. You can also take a personality codependent test that I made just for you over there as well at HeidiRain.com. So let's get into it. I, I have had this uh, question come up so many different ways. And I, I want to introduce this from, for, from a story, from a client's perspective. Okay. Now, whether you're a parent or a spouse, I've got you covered today on all angles, but I remember one day I was running a women's group inside of a treatment center and we were processing and running group. And there were about 25 women that were there. And I was asking questions and, and we were checking in. And one of the girls, she was like, you know, uh, devastated. I mean, she could look over at her. She was cry, crying and, and hysterical. And we were talking about family. We were talking about family members and the impact of addiction, et cetera. <clears throat> and she raised her hand and I said, yes. I said, hey, tell me, tell me what's going on. She was like, I just, I can't. I can't deal with it. I'm so devastated. My parents are horrible. They are horrible people. Okay. And she's really distraught, you know, and, and everybody's in the group and we're all kind of like, oh man, I wonder what they, you know, what are we going to hear? I mean, my goodness. Right. So she, she just keeps going. And I say, well, tell us what happened. Tell us what happened. She was like, I, I, I mean, she could barely get the words out. You know, I, I, I decided I came into treatment and, and, and I mean, sobbing and long story short, she finally got out the words, her biggest problem here was I came into treatment and my parents went on a cruise 